I'm Dr. Stout and I'm here with my students looking at uh, crayfish research and we are working with uh, dopamine. I thought it might be interesting to talk about why crayfish and dopamine. Dopamine can't go through the brain blood barrier. If my students decided to start taking dopamine for fun, they would just get a muscle cramp. So it's not really a useful uh, party drug in that way. Uh, this is the same problem that everyone has had with uh, rats. You give dopamine to a rat, doesn't do anything. So people give cocaine to rats or nicotine to rats or other stimulants that produce dopamine. And so all the dopamine work has been done using stimulants and rats. And uh, when I just started playing around with crayfish, I gave them dopamine directly in the water. That's when I discovered something really different, that dopamine given directly like that, when there's no brain blood barrier and something that's not a vertebrate, the dopamine goes directly into the brain and then we see that uh, effect of acting as a reward. It's not paired as a stimulant the way uh, we see in everything else. I just wanted to put that out there as uh, an idea of, I don't think all the other researchers are wrong in the way they've been doing their work. Why did I find something else that no one else has seen before? And it's simply because I used an organism without the brain blood barrier and gave the dopamine to the crayfish directly. All right, thanks.